Uh, hello. Uh, this is uh, just a really simple thrown together demonstration of how circular motion gives rise to uh, sinusoidal uh, motion. Um, and this pertains to phasers where you have a, a, a vector uh, who, who uh, that in the complex plane goes as e to the i omega t where omega is the radial frequency. And um, this is just a, a demonstration somewhat like you can find on the internet if you look around, but I thought it'd be fun to do it for real, uh, in which uh, it shows that the projection of, which is the shadow of this object moving around on the turntable, uh, uh, traces out a sine wave. And uh, if we could move the paper and burn the shadow into the paper, it would make the sine wave, but of course I don't have any way to do that. But still, I think it's instructive to see this. Now, uh, what I'm trying to show is that, using the laser here, as the shadow moves back and forth, if you only look at the shadow and ignore the object itself moving, the, the shadow is tracing out the sine wave. So it lingers a little bit at the edge, and it moves quickly through the middle, and that's exactly what the shape of the sine wave does. It stays at the top for a little while and then it goes quickly through the middle. So this might be something that if you keep this in mind, this uh, motion back and forth as the projection of a point on the circle, it might make understanding phasers or sine waves uh, just a little bit easier to understand.